The San Francisco Chronicle reports that Oakland is without a police chief again. Its scandal-ridden police department has had three chiefs in a little more than one week. Oakland has the nation's third highest violent crime rate. Maria Villarreal is in Los Angeles with the mayor's vow that heads will roll. Maria, good morning. Well, good morning. The most recent chief resigned on Friday, just two days after being on the job. As you said, there is no acting police chief in Oakland right now. Instead, the department is under civilian control. We are hell bent on rooting out this disgusting culture. In no uncertain terms, Oakland's mayor is vowing to get to the bottom of the sex scandal rocking the city's police force. I feel that this is an appropriate time to place civilian oversight over this police department. The department's high stakes game of musical chairs started June 9th when Chief Sean Went abruptly resigned. Interim Chief Ben Farrow was removed six days later because of still undisclosed information that led the mayor to, quote, lose confidence in him. Assistant Chief Paul Figueroa took over only to resign two days later. It's incredible. It's a despicable. It's a disgrace. I think it doesn't really speak to Oakland's character. Things first began to unravel in September after an officer killed himself and left a suicide note claiming several officers were having sex with a teenage prostitute. The first one at 16. The young woman at the heart of the scandal, who goes by the name Celeste Wop, is cooperating with investigators. She told our station KPIX that looking back, she believes officers took advantage of her. At the time, no, I was happy to, you know, wow, you know, these men in uniform giving me protection. But now that I'm 18, looking back at it, yeah, I do feel, I do feel like they did. At least 14 officers are involved in the sex scandal. Two have resigned. To find out that my own police officers have engaged in this despicable behavior, it is so infuriating, I'm pretty speechless. In addition to the sex abuse claims, there's also a separate investigation into racist text messages that were sent between officers. The mayor calls these messages hate speech and says she's doing a full investigation. One officer is already under administrative leave. Nora? All right, Maria, thank you.